Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you really resonate with the video drop a line you know tell me where you're you know you're watching this from and um give a thumbs up and share anybody who's going through to get to i'm sending so much love light whatever you're needing to get through on the battles that you do not speak on um that you've been praying hard uh to really overcome really see it through I'm sending that towards you a million times. Follow anybody who's coming in with nefarious ass vibe, Decepticon ass energy, whatever you're wishing, it is staying with you. Okay, it's gonna become your reality, except it's gonna be a lot worse just because you're doing that. Every evil eye go blind, modern spirits go deaf, and every evil tongue that talks towards anybody in low vibrational ways goes mute. The video I'm doing today is called. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, well, it was like the growth in the life and death situation. It, it's like, you know, you, you going through a life and death situation. It's like you're, you're ending so many different things to begin something else. You know, we, we, a lot of us, um, have gone through a lot of trauma. You know, you have gone through a lot of ups and downs. A lot of times, it's like going through these spiritual awakenings. Sometimes it feel like you have more downs than ups. You know, you're trying to do your best on being able to go through it. And change is not easy for nobody. You know, I like I tell y'all, I'm crystal clear <laughs> on being transparent. I'm not going to be that type of person to try to make everything seem like, oh, I'm the strongest person in the world. Oh, everything is gravy. Everything is Gucci. No, we, we have our setbacks. We have our failures. We have moments when we're getting in our feelings and we want to move, you know, in a certain way that we will move through our pride and move through our ego. And this is at that time where you know, universe is doing divine intervention. It's like karma is at play, lessons learned is at play, uh, downloads to really understand what you're doing. Are you going to be, you know, use the courage to be able to push through different things that may have really hurt you? Uh, different sequences in your life where you had very unfair advantages taking place and you just really, you know, you want things to be, you know, you want it crooked become straight. And you're going through those different things and it's just like a lot of times we have to go through a huge wake-up call of some kind of tragedy you know um that leads us towards a purpose we're not understanding you know um there's a lot of us that you know it, it was like ignorance is bliss <laughs> you know we were in the matrix we were um in our illusions and it's like when you're clearing that out you know you're you're dealing with a lot of uh, different things where you know you're having to face your fears and it's just like a lot of times um you know when you're dealing with different types of energies you know you, this is like the game of life everybody that's in your life is helping you create better for your life but it's either your choice or your experience is going to send you down a spiral rabbit hole that's just going to get worse and worse and worse or your situation can create something that i mean it could have been a heartache pain you know unforgivable circumstances and situations you know but you're allowing yourself to see the good that has taken place into your life you know you are not the person that started this journey you are so much you know stronger than you are you're more in tune with yourself you know a lot of us uh may have second guessed our intuition or did, went against our gut then a lot of times we had to learn the hard way you know, and it, it's just like when we're Hayokas, it's like we, we do everything hard. <laughs> it's like, oh, because I'll look at the stuff that I go through and I'm like, you already know what the outcome going to be. Why do you do this? You know, you already know what is going to happen. What, you know, and I had to be able to allow myself to, you know, hey, stop, you know, redoing the same mistakes because it's going to be the same circumstances. And a lot of times it can get a lot worse than last time just because it's already you already knew. You know, no matter how you're going about things that, you know, is not good for us or we shouldn't do or different things we should cut away from or, you know, walk away from. 
it tends to get harder, you know, because if you're placing resistance on holding on to things that is truly needing to take that process, because a lot of times, you know, it, it, you roll our eyes when you like trust the process. You like my whole life is going to, sh and you telling me to trust the process. It's like it has to destroy for it to be built up on something solid, something real. You know, we were built up with illusions too much. Different things where we made more things more important to our, our lives than we should have. Or we stay focused on different things in our life than we should have. You know, there's a lot of times where we didn't want to hold ourselves accountable or be responsible for the choices we made. I know there's a lot of things that, you know, you have gone through and or somebody's done to you or whatever. But you just take accountability for yourself. That's the only thing you can do, you know. It, it'll be just different things is going on where it's a lot of tension right now. There's a lot of people going through dark night of the soul. There's a lot of people that are exiting that dark night of the soul. You, you know, you if you know you've been that person that's doing the work, you know, and you really had to deal with some hard stuff. Even if you didn't want to admit certain things, you knew life wasn't going to get better for you until you allow yourself to see things for what it truly was. Or what, mm, excuse me, spiritual hiccup, <laughs> or what it truly is. You know, a lot of things are dressed up in illusions or matrix or uh, misunderstandings. Or it, it could be you can see things as a, as a positive perspective just as well as you can see things in, in a, a very negative perspective. It's easy for us to see a lot of things in negativity when things are not going right or things are not moving as fast as they should. And it's like we are really having to do that work. And a lot of times, you know, God knows you get tired. God knows you get fed up. You know, you're going through these different things into your life. Like, you, you know, it'll be sometimes I even got to roll my eyes, but have to remind myself these things are happening for me. This is not happening to me. These are different things that's going to strengthen me. It may feel like it's like breaking me down like that. You know, as soon as I'm, you know, getting over one hump, here's 10 more other humps on top of that where I'm not even getting, you know, I didn't even, you know, recharge or recuperate from the last one I did. And it's just like, this is where your strength comes in, you know? And it's like, the level ups is like the challenges and the changes that we go through. A lot of times, it's not expected, but it's like on this five of chance, when you hold your truth, you have to expect there's going to be some turbulences coming in because there's a lot of sleepers that don't want to be woke. Or there's a lot of different things that's taking place in life where resistance of change is really taking place. And, you know, um, you're just really ready to move, you know, through that. And a lot of times the process is a little bit longer than it is just depending on, you know, what what you're dealing with, what, what you're healing from. You know, where is your journey taking you? And all these different things is like the book of life where we can see our dark moments. We can understand what was hard for us to make peace with or you know forgive certain things that there's no way in hell you can be able to process being in forgiveness but it's just like if you yearn for your peace in life you yearn for prosperity and abundance in your life you're gonna have to go through certain losses it's like if you expect to win you can't win all the time you know you can't expect things to be you know, easy all the time. I remember I said that last time in a video. If it was so easy, everybody would be doing this. You know, it's just like, you know what you experience in life. You know what people know. And there are certain things that you just do not allow people to know. Maybe you feel judgment or you feel people may look at you a different way. Or it's just so traumatic, you just keep that to yourself. You know, not realizing we're reliving it every day because if we still hold that harbor Harb you know, harbinger of hate or, you know, um, pain into our life. Even though I'm not saying, you know, everybody has their own grieving period. I'm not trying to say, hey, get over it. There's a lot of things that went on in people's life that is not something you can grieve for in a day. Nobody can't tell you how long, you know, an expiration date comes with grief. You know, life and change is a whole grief within itself. It's a life and death situation you're deadening anything that's no longer serving you anything or anyone that's not on your frequency 
um, different ways you went about things, different things that you, you know, uh, you, you may have been fascinated about, you're no longer fascinated about, different things you may have tolerated in the past that you no longer tolerate. And these are the different things that's taking place into your life and say, wow, you know, if I didn't go through these ups and downs, you know, how, you know, and I, got, I know I'll probably say that a lot, but it's true. You know, when we're going through different things, we see the heartache and pain, you know, people passing, you know, uh, friends turning into strangers, you know, family turning into foes, you know, people that you probably care for don't give a crap about you or what goes on. You know, you were giving and people were taking, you know, you had to go through all these different things to allow this not to bitter your heart no, not to allow it to harden your heart and a lot of times it's hard to do that because you know I was living like that and it'll be at that point where now it's just where I, I be very selective of what I put my heart into you know allowing myself to catch myself before I pop off with different things because you know certain things it's just like let me just say it and I'm like no you're on your growth this is something that shows you you know everything doesn't need a response to it you know you can be able to see what it is and recognize what it is put in your mental you know put in your mental file and just keep moving it's just now you you have to stay more focused on you you're in a life and death situation. You were, you were, you know, you're, you were getting ready to end the old life of you. Maybe, you know, you were a people pleaser, or maybe you added more love towards other people's life, and you were always that one that uplifted everybody. But who is the work person that uplifts you? Now, do you have people by your side that, where they stick around for every season? You know, it's just like a tree. You know, we sometimes, you know, leaves, leaves and seasons change just like people do you know you're you're probably getting rid of the old when you're going through changes you know you, even your choice of friends and the connections you do a lot change you know unless they're on that changing journey and healing journey as well as you and they start understanding or you know it could have been you know a friendship or connection that you know is no longer needed the experience was there and you learned the lessons you had to learn that you know everybody's parting ways and stuff like that or people are going through their vibe and, you know, are are doing hermit mode. A lot of people are just moving in silence. And congratulations if you're doing that. <laughs> it was like, move in silence, show them. Don't tell them. You know, you, do, you anything that you're doing to point A to point B, you keep that to yourself. No telling who it is. You know, because a lot of times, you know, not everybody has, not, not everybody want to see you go to that next level. A lot of people you may want to take to the top may not want to see you at the top. They want to be able to control everything in your life. You know, this is that time where, you know, you switching up on different things. You're not that normal person. There's a lot of times where I even said it before. They miss the old you. You know, the person that was, you know, not putting guards up or, you know, you, you it affected what people said about you, you know, or... You would take every single thing personal. It will be so many different things you're learning like that. If I didn't go through this growth, I want to see who were the people that was there for me, that was there for me through every season, and they riding with me onto this. We all growing together. Or different people that was there just when it benefited them. Or if they felt like there was something they can backpack on. You know, now it's just like when you did the groundwork, you started understanding why certain connections had to fall away or you had to understand why you know certain you know certain uh jobs or you know uh experiences you know just transferred or fizzled out or you being redirected towards something else you know life is about change you know whether we want it or not but it's just like when you when you know you're moving up into life or you're you know you're rearranging your life because you want better in your life or you know you're bringing in better or it's just your mind is a lot more broader than it was for so many possibilities to take place into your life you know and I always I always let people know don't ever let people tell you that your dreams can never be possible those are the same ones that's praying to God that you don't fulfill that and the ones that's hoping you don't and you know trying to make sure you do not get to that that angle to where you are in ultimate just when you become all completely dangerous and I feel a lot of y'all energies are like that are getting close to it so you just keep on being you this is something that you're creating a better life for yourself and if you did not go through these wars 
you wouldn't know where to lay your flag at. You know, it's like you conquered that. It's like the flag of giving up. Now you're giving up on things that's no longer serving you or things that's just not adding growth to your life. And you're, you're appreciating it for what it what it is. Or, or you're getting towards that, that vibe like, you know, I appreciate that I went through that. It put me through something, but I appreciate the experience I got. It taught me a lot. And that's why usually, you know, why things like this happen. So you allow yourself to step into the new because, you know, your future needs you, your past don't. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend, being responsible with every single thing you do. If you would love to be nice enough to be generous, to donate towards the channel, Cash App is there. If you want to email me, hit me up. That's there. Um, my email is there. Or um, my Instagram, whatever. Uh, and you'll just see me on my next video. So sending so much love and light towards you. You know, just go ahead and even through social distancing, make sure you're giving out love and light through frequencies, vibes, and words, and just kind gestures. You never know what people can really need that can take them a step further. And just because you're doing it on a selfish vibe, hey, it's going to take you even further. So much love. I say shalom. Namaste. God bless. Much love to you and peace.